Okay, welcome back. This is part three of the Introduction to Finale series. At this point, you should be fairly comfortable with note input, expression input, and score setup. So we are starting with a completely notated score, and we're just going to go over the two new, or sorry, three new tools today. And that is how we are able to cut away stabs within a score, how we insert and manipulate chord symbols into a score, and how we insert lyrics into a score. Okay, so go ahead and pull up the third piece in your finale packet. Daddy was an old-time preacher man. And let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's, you'll notice that in your, if you're at this point in your finale project, there is still a staff of blank rests up here in the voice part that should not be there according to our finale packet. So the easiest way to get rid of this is just go click on the staff. So right click and go down here to staff styles and you'll go ahead and click on apply staff style. You'll notice here that we have a whole bunch of staff styles here. If you want to learn more about each staff style and what it does and how you can manipulate it, check out the Finale user manual and read about it. For today, we're just worried about the force hide option. Right now, we're going to use force hide and we're going to try a force hide staff collapse. And there we go. That got rid of that first staff, that first staff for us for those first four bars, and it now looks closer to what our actual score is. So let's also go ahead and add in that double bar that should be right there at the end of that measure. So we're going to go ahead and just double click and select double bar. And there we go. We have our double bar in there. All right. So with that, let's move on to let's do the chord symbols first. So chord symbols are up here in our main toolbar. And the symbol that's a C major 7 is our chord tool. So go ahead and select that. We have it with our chord tool selected, let's go ahead and double click over the top of our first note that has a chord symbol. This pulls up our definition. We can type in whatever chord symbol we want. We can do like a D major 7 flat 5 if we wanted to, or we could just do what's written in the packet, and that is just a regular C major score, C major chord. Show root, suffix, fretboard, alternate bass. And that's all good to go there. And we'll go ahead and select OK. And there it's inserted the chord. Now you'll notice that we're actually missing the tablature that goes along with that chord. So if we go up here to our upper menu option and go to the chord drop down menu, go all the way down, and you want to show fretboards. And there we go. We now have our tab that goes with that chord. So let's go ahead and just move that down a little bit. And there we go. And let's go ahead and continue on for the rest of the chords in inserting those. Okay, that's our chord symbols all inserted. I'm going to go ahead and just pull these down a little bit and get them lined up a little bit better so they look a little bit more uniform. There's no need for them to be that high above the staff. So let's just go ahead and select all these handles and just go ahead and pull them down to about there is good for now. Okay, so with the chord symbols inserted, let's move on to the lyrics. So the lyrics are going to be the tool right next to chord symbols. It looks like a little ink quell. So we're going to go ahead and select the lyrics tool. And from here, all you do is just double click underneath the note where you want the lyrics to start, and you start typing in the lyrics on your keyboard like typing in a Word document. So I went ahead and double clicked. I now have a flashing cursor there, and I can go ahead and start typing the lyrics. So, and then when you come to a lyric that is actually split on a syllable, you go ahead and hit the dash button. That moves you to the next note. Finish the word and then spacebar, and you'll notice the dash popped up automatically for us. So let's continue with this line. Again, hitting the dash button and then finishing the chord, or sorry, the lyric, and then semicolon. And now for this, in order to get that underscore line that extends for the full note value, go ahead and shift dash, and that will continue that that lyric out for the entire length of that chord. OK, 
space bar to get through the rest and back to the next note and just continue typing in the lyrics as they come, just like a Word document. Again, shift click, sorry, shift dash there. And just like that, we have all of our lyrics in, in the correct notation for the lyrics. Again, in order to get these, these underscores that extend the entire note value, you just shift and type the, and press shift and type the dash button for each note value that you want to extend that lyric through. And that gives you the underscore. And it's just like typing in a Word document. And with that, the last thing that you need to do is go ahead and try and get this document to fit onto one page comfortably. And if you need help with that, check out the user manual. It should be a good little challenge, but it is possible to get fit onto one page.